Oh. Total super nightmare. I'm very close to peel this whole shit off again and leave it nice and glossy. Uh, good morning guys welcome back to the channel I've got my work t-shirt on because today is the day I want to wrap my center console in the Tesla Model 3 in the Teslander as you may remember EV EV armor has sent me two separate kits for the Teslander to wrap the middle console one is the carbon fiber wrap and the other one is called satin plaque. It's a matte plaque, so it gets rid of this glossy. But this is the first time I'm actually seeing it, and it still looks a bit glossy. And each of the sets contains five different wraps for all the bits and pieces of the middle console. Some alcohol pads, a squeegee, and the manual. Well, the manual is actually online, so I will send these videos to the test lander. When we do the installation now, I can watch the videos back on the big screen inside the test lander. One is going into the test lander right now. I still haven't made up my mind which one. And the other one will go to one of you guys. Well, I've never been a big fan of these. Why is this tripod? Not straight. Well, we are a bit of an angle. I've never been, never been a big fan of these console wraps, actually. I watched a few videos from other people installing them and it was always a nightmare. And, well, when EV Armor got in contact with me, I said, okay, I have a look at your training and installation videos first and see um, how easy this actually seems to be. So I watched the videos and said, that looks different from what I have seen from other manufacturers. So yeah, we go ahead with this deal. You send me two over, I give one away and install one myself and make a video out of it. Let's get the car out of the carport. That's the standard piano plaque finish. Uh, looks very nice when it's clean, but it attracts the fingerprints. Of course, so we have two options now. We can either do the carbon fiber optic or we can do the matte plaque optic. But looking at this one here, it's not, oh well, it is, it is different, it is different. This is the original glossy, this is the satin plaque. So it's not as glossy anymore. And here we can see it doesn't attract any fingerprints while here, you know the results. Hmm. I'm going for this one. Why am I going for this one? I think this one is a bit too much. It feels nice with the carbon fiber structure, but I think it's a bit too much for the whole car. You know, we've got this wooden dashboard, we've got the chrome, we've got the chrome in here, and then we've got this massive carbon fiber area of these three parts. And I'm not sure if this is not too much. That's afterwards, before. Looking at the combination of the dashboard up there and the wooden part, satin, plaque, carbon fiber, I probably go for the satin plaque. It integrates a bit better in the rest of the car because nothing else is carbon fiber inside here or outside. So I would start a trend. I think it's a bit too much. Okay, let's go set in black. Well, first hurdle is I cannot share, I cannot share these videos from their website with the Tesla. So I need to search for it manually. Yeah, it says it here, frustration free installation trick. Okay, I've got all my bits and pieces here. Uh, we don't need the manual anymore. 
I use only the provided accessories and the wrap of course no other tools let's see how far we come it says it over here top of middle piece start here so this one goes this way around on this middle piece okay that's a lot of plastic right what is that for unnecessary plastic EV armor not good not good okay we've got a squeaky and we've got four pieces of alcohol prep pads to clean the surface so the trick is to align the edges of the film with the edges of the lid and as long as this matches your whole piece will fit onto the center console I don't know how this should work this one makes a slight bow you can see this and the film does it as well but the other way around that's the first step I did and it doesn't work look at this arch the the film does it's the opposite from the console well guys I don't I don't really know what's going on but I've got I've got some lines in here already which I cannot get rid of that looks like shit but that's exactly how they align the corners starting with the top left edge done Continue aligning the wrap using the edge as a guide. If you make a mistake, you can easily peel off and realign. And as long as the edges match up, you can be confident knowing the rest of the wrap will align perfectly. You might notice that the vinyl bunches up a little towards the center. Simply use your thumb to carefully roll the vinyl over, left to right. The material will stretch and eventually flatten out. Yeah, have a look at this. Look how it looks like. We've got these streaks in here. And there's um, like a corner. I don't know what that is. It doesn't... I cannot take it off. And then it's really hard to actually stretch the material down here and push the bubbles out. It gets worse and worse. Well, this one is straight in the film. My one isn't. I don't know. This, this is not... Not like in the video. It's off now. Okay, that's the first one done, guys. That's how it looks like originally, and this is the satin black one. I'm not, I'm not 100% satisfied with the film material. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see these streaks. Here and I've got this bump exactly over there and I don't know what it is it looks like it's just a bubble but I cannot take it off but I also read if you leave the film uh, in the Sun for a while it actually stretches and gets a little bit smoother so I've got these lines here as well I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera Yeah, I don't know if this will ever go away. This might be a fuck up for me or it's a... Uh, there's nothing underneath. I cannot feel a hump or so. It looks like it's a bit of a leather structure with these lines. Like like in here you've got this little yeah, structure. And this looks similar. It looks like a leather structure actually now. All right, let's keep going with the um, top part. I tell you what, it looks a lot easier on the videos. There's, there's a little bit of overlap of material here in the corner, each side. And this one does not really stick. Oh, it's stick. No, I think it comes off again. I'll take a razor blade and just cut this off. That's fine. Okay. Well, that's how it looks like so far. This is the glossy part, original glossy part, and this is the satin plaque. Satin plaque. With some. Um, 
really bad f up in here and I don't know if this was me or if it's in the material I cannot really tell okay uh, probably the most tricky part <laughs> from what I can see is the top part which goes right underneath here <laughs> clean this up a little bit hope for the best well I'm not really too fast about this shit here really I cannot really see where I go here on the other side okay and you can just push it in place with a squeaky it's too short I've got at least two millimeters on the left hand side which are not covered by the vinyl unless I have to stretch the material oh. well that is again a fucking nightmare okay that's as good as it gets not perfect Okay, it's on. Uh, you can see the corner here. It is a bit too short. There's probably one, one and a half millimeters. Well, nobody will notice this because this is really tucked away. Okay, here comes the easy part. Hopefully, that is this one. Just going to peel this off in one go. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the easiest part to wrap. Okay, so and here now comes the horror piece, which is the one around the cup holders. This is all one piece of wrap. So cleaning the surface and the edges. Just making sure this is all nice and clean, fat free. So the trick is now to use these um, this transfer, these wings here. So what you do is you to work. That's different to the video. There was no white. What do we have to fold this down? Here. Hang on. Line this up to this plastic down here. That's the start point. Oh, this is shit. This does not stick at all on my plastic. This comes off all the time. It's not. It's not sticky anymore. On this side. If I mess this one up here, well, this goes over the corner, which is probably fine. I think the most concern is the left and right here. See how the black film doesn't line up with the chrome? There's a little gap. And the same over here. The black film is not wide enough to go directly to the chrome trim. What the heck, huh? What the heck? And this shit is not... It is not sticky. This one does not stick. Well, the transfer paper doesn't work. It's not sticky. See, it doesn't stick on my console, not at all. Oh. Total super nightmare. I'm very close to peel this whole shit off again and leave it nice and glossy. See, this stuff is not sticky at all. It sticks on my fingers a bit, but it does not stick on the plastic here at all. There. So how am I supposed to align this one up? <sighs> Come on, EV armor. I hope this will be invisible after I put it on. Let's see if we can use our own transfer paper. Oh yeah, that sticks.
but it's not perfect either. And then you've got these wrinkles here, this this stuff from stretching the material. I hope this goes away once the car heats up in the sun and the material flexes a bit, you know. Yeah, probably, see there's a little gap. It looks, it looks all right, I must say. And there's no fingerprints visible. Huh. Okay guys, let's do the final verdict. Set in black center console wrap from EV Armor. Yeah, I don't know. If if this is the easiest self if if this is the easiest self installation on the market, I don't want to know how the other ones work. It is not as easy to align all these wraps correctly to the console and make it fit perfectly. The installation videos show it is very easy, but in practice it is a bit different. I think I should have gone for the I should have gone for the carbon fiber wrap. Because of the structure, you wouldn't see any of these lines or wrinkles. You wouldn't see anything. This looks like damaged actually here. So I'm not sure. Yeah, with a carbon fiber wrap, you wouldn't see any of these lines and streaks later on because of the texture of the material. But here on this satin plaque, well, everything which is just one color and one texture, one surface, you will see everything which is not perfect. So probably if you go for a center console wrap, go for the carbon fiber because of the texture you won't see this little. Well, overall, I'm not super pleased with the installation of the whole kit. This took a little bit longer, probably one hour and 10 minutes now to install all these five parts. If these, if these marks don't come off after a while here, this whole thing goes. I'll, I'll take it off again then. I'll go back to the glossy stuff. So the overall, the overall verdict of this whole EV Armor center console wrap for the Tesla Model 3. I would give it a two out of five. I may raise this to a three out of five once these streaks and lines come off, but I'm not too impressed with the whole installation. This is clearly not a frustration free installation. So expect some frustration if you are into the market for a center console wrap. Yeah, guys, let me know down in the description below what is your experience with these center console wraps? What is your installation experience? How long did it take? How high was the frustration level doing it? Yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% happy with this whole situation. So probably I have to keep keep this one here just in case I pull the satin plaque one out again and then I install the carbon fiber. I think it's a bit easier because you've got this texture and it will cover all these little lines and wrinkles and maybe a, if there's some dirt under it or something, I don't know. It... That's my... Okay guys, two weeks ago I have made this video you just saw and this is just an update after these two weeks. Who would have thought? How is this whole how is this whole wrap going after two weeks? Let me um oh, go out of oh look at this. Hmm? We've got light now. But now it's reflecting again. Well, so the center console wrap from EV Armor was sitting in the car now for two weeks in the sun, in the cold. We had only 17 degrees this morning. Winter is coming quickly, and I just want to give you a quick update how the film, how the wrap actually goes after two weeks. Well, it goes well. Look at this. Even my little my little thing here, my little hump, is has vanished. It's gone. It's gone. You still can see the see this this line here did not did never disappear. Well that was potentially my own fault, I would say. This is the only downside. All the other the, all these lines, they have mostly disappeared apart from this big one. But this was the first 
first ever thing I did with this center console. So um, I take full credit of probably not doing it correctly or so, I don't know. Um, the other two things are, see these corners? They are sometimes coming off. See there? There's a bit of wrap. Can you see that? It's not quite as sticky here in the corner. And see if I do it with my fingernail now. It's good. But then after a while it comes a bit loose again. And then there is a... Um, um, I hope you can see that. See the wrap is a bit short there. You can still see the glossy piano piano black underground. There it's a bit short. But I don't know if I messed this up and didn't align it properly here when I started. So it needs to be moved this way a little bit more. And the same here on the edge. You can still see the glossy part of the piano piano. Why do I have trouble to say piano? Piano black glossy stuff underneath. While here it's fine. So maybe that was me as well not lining up this wrap correctly. Apart from that, everything is fine. It it looks great, I think. I'm happy I chose the satin black and not the carbon fiber. I think this would looks really nice. It doesn't give you any reflections. There's no fingerprints on here. But um, I have to uh, increase my rating for this wrap from EV Armor from 2 out of 5 to probably 4.5 out of 5. I'm still not happy with this part here and the not sticky tape they supplied, which was not sticking to the side panels here at all. So this part was a major headache. It still, it still is a major nightmare to put this part on. Okay. Uh, thank you again for watching and uh, thanks EV Armor for sending this one and the carbon fiber one over. I will have to give this away at some stage, uh, probably to one of my Patreons, because they pay a little bit extra. They should get a little bit extra, right? All right, guys, so far this update, don't forget to sign up to Patreon to win the carbon fiber wrap if you want to. It has now a 4.5 out of 5 rating. So go to patreon.com slash TV, sign up and win the carbon fiber wrap for your center console Tesla Model 3. Okay, guys, so far this video. Thanks for watching as always. Stay charged. Bye bye. It looks great. <laughs>